Hi guys, welcome back to Same Racing Prey. Okay, I'm gonna show you uh how you're gonna how 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 I do my way to like to view my chat or my Facebook gaming in iRacing as an overlay so that uh, I'll be able to like communicate to my streamers and also see the notification and, and their chat. So yeah, without uh, further ado, let me just jump into my VR headset now. Okay guys, so now I'm in my VR headset. Okay, for this to work, I'm going to use a virtual desktop. Uh, you would require at least a two monitor setup to your PC so that you run your OBS Studio or maybe your Streamlab OBS onto the second monitor that you're not currently running iRacing on. So what I will go and what what will I do is I will when I'm in a practice session, right, like like that. I will just you can't see anything over my head now. So when you press the Oculus button on my right controller, you will bring up this menu. What you're gonna do is you go to your virtual desktop, which is the right side. Click on it. Go to monitor number two, which I am aware that uh, I put it full screen mode. Where I it's on my monitor too. So can you see the overlay on top of me now? Where you can you hold the thumb button, the one that the thumb button here. And you can just bring it down. And your analog button is to left and right is to enlarge it. The, the size or how you want it to be. So as you know you can see this is my my technically my streamlight OBS in full screen mode on my monitor itself. So once you have that full screen mode, do remember to log in into your Facebook gaming. So that you are able to bring up this uh, window, the chat window here. Okay, as and as you know that your mini feed, you can get some notifications here, like who for who has followed you and who has liked on that. So what you can do is you actually have the whole thing here ready. So what I usually normally run my 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 screen here in performance mode, so that I don't rent, don't uh, don't interfere in my my gaming performance. So what I do is I will click it out and then I'll bring it like just technically you see this uh the the, the overlay here. I'll just directly bring it here a bit and then try to make it as big uh, as possible. Because if it's too small, you are not able to see the chat. So I think this is uh, pretty okay. So what I will do is uh, you got to pin this button down and see this uh, pin to experience. Yeah, click on that. Once you click on, on that pin or, uh, on the experience button, right? You just what you're going to do is you just click back to iRacing. So that's your technically your virtual desktop monitor number two, which your iRacing should be number one if I'm not wrong. So there you go, and now you have that overlay just right above your head. So when you're, once you're driving like in iRacing, right, you are, you're only focusing at the front. So it actually doesn't, doesn't interfere to yourself. So now whenever you, you drive, right, and yeah, okay, another thing is your, your controller. You can mean your mouse. Sometimes when you click it, you'll be like now controlling this. What you're gonna do is you go to your monitor, right, and have a click on iRacing itself. Once you click iRacing screen and then you get back in, you should be going back by like pressing back the home Oculus. Okay, and then uh, just uh, click it back here. And you will bring the mouse back down, you know what I mean? You will bring the, the mouse back to your iRacing. Where you don't really need to control your OBS now because as you know that it's doing all the recording and necessary stuff. I think if you have like a very beefy, uh, beefy setup on your PC, you can just leave it on so that you are able to notice that uh, your sound is on, your your anything that is required to be on. So once you want to control, take control of that back, go back to your Oculus Home again. And then uh, you should be not click on that one time I guess and uh, you should be controlling that application if I'm not wrong, yeah. You're right. So uh, when once you do that, you can just like send your volume off, or you can just okay. I try to off my music now. Okay, and then I can just turn it off. So technically, that's how I I get my eye racing overlay done. So technically, this is the way how I I make it work for my setup. It's not that uh <laughs> difficult. I mean, in a way that uh, it's actually the only way that I kind of found on how I, I get my chat overlay in. So, I will just show you like a, a, a practice session. Like, how does it interfere me? So yeah, I don't matter my 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 P on on that, that pitchfork because I'm recording and sh and like 
the whole video. <laughs> so technically this is the how the overlay will look. So like if like any followers, so you'll be able to see. But anyway, currently I'm recording uh, using my, my Oculus Mirror, which I don't really use Oculus Mirror for my 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 as as a as an app to, to record. I'm using my Oculus Mirror over on my HJ60, which is my middle monitor. So the setup is a bit uh, different. So I usually use the normal eye racing, the, the one that is that loads up the screen, where I'm able to do my reshade and then get better graphic to you guys for eye racing. So that is the way how I, I kind of like launch the thing. But damn, it's pretty good, man. <laughs> I mean the driving and I mean the feel and IVR. So yeah, that's how actually I, I get the notification. But yeah, for now you're able to see my, my Oculus. I mean you can be able to see Streamlab just above my head, right? But whenever when I use my eye racing like the one that eye racing uh, launches out. Not the Oculus mirror like the renderer dot uh sixty four. Uh that is displayed, you will not be able to see my, my it's not able to see streamlabs on top of over me. So which is a good thing, which I don't think it's actually quite nice if I'm gonna show you my streamlabs while I'm driving, you know what I mean? Uh so but guys yeah if you have like another like other options that you can do it in a better way and or easier way, do let me know. I'll be very much interested to know from you guys. Do drop by a comment. And yeah guys do join my Discord and that's uh I love this car in cold tires. So <laughs> Yeah guys, and just do drop by my Discord, the link will be provided. And I hope you guys just enjoy this short uh, technical kind of thing for uh, those streamers that is, uh, that is also wondering. I know there's also a, a lot of other ways where you can do some OVR toolkit and all, but I have not tried. And I find that this uh, wins the, I mean beats the, the way. But yeah, I just feel that the, the, the overlay is like kind of big, my like show, my whole stream like just over my head. Like, I mean, but yeah, guys, if you find it this interesting, uh, your your likes and your follows or subscribes would be really appreciated, man. It will really help me grow my channel. I'm wanting to grow this as my passion, as an interest in sim racing and also video creating. So yeah, guys, uh, do join my journey, and I will be very gladly appreciated if you guys uh support me. And I thanks all of, of you that have uh, given me your, your constructive feedback on my on my journey. Thanks guys and uh, see you guys and have a nice day guys. Take care.